Welcome back everyone to episode 3 of Let's Play Cold Waters as the Seawolf class fighting against China. So let's continue. I this time uh, back. So we're still looking for this fleet. Um, this time I did not have to reload. I'm just playing right after the last episode was recorded. A lot of these are going to go out before I even see the comments from episode number 1. But that's okay. Anyways, we're still looking for the fleet which is supposed to go to East China Sea. Normally they give you ah normally they give you a, a peep of it and this is gonna be wonderful to engage it way over here in deep water. I'm so happy that they chose to go what seems to me like an insanely stupid route. But <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. We're quite happy to make uh to finish her off in this area instead. And we might want to use some surface mounted miss missiles having four torpedo tubes loaded with torpedoes seems like it's just fine with me so man battle stations and let's get to work look at this oh i love it oh yes i love it 1900 feet again that's fantastic all right let's get to work as i said um i didn't record the initial trajectory or the bearing oh we lost no no we just got better we got better uh, read on one of them. Okay, let's quickly do this before we lose anybody. No, that's no. That's also not right. Neither of these look right because this one right here doesn't look right. But this one doesn't look right. Ah, there we go. Okay, next. Wow, that's gonna be very identifiable. <laughs> Just look for the double lines here. There it is. Extremely... Yeah, that's extremely uh, obvious profile. Next. Look for these two. Merchant, maybe? Oh, interesting. These are all lining up, so we have a submarine in the area. Very close. Okay, well, we gotta shoot, keep identifying, but take evasive maneuvers. Let's look, duct. Okay, we're below it already. We probably have to launch. I don't want to launch. All right, hard to port. Let's quickly identify F6, S6X, F. Yeah, 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 yeah. Words. S. CR4 and CR5. That's why they use the alphabet, right? I mean, that's... Oh, God, this thing is so close, though. I'm going to have to launch. You just have to. I doubt it's this far. That thing is close. Let's quickly narrow my... Yeah, this is going to... This, is, this one's going to be fun. And we want to dive very quickly. And you know what? As soon as we get any kind of depth, we're going to increase our speed. I want the... Please, give me the submarine. Yeah, we're going to dive. And she did launch behind us, which is good. Okay, give me other contacts that I need to identify. All of them. Sierra 9, good lord. I expected a merchant ship, we got one. Already countermeasure homing on the kilo. Well, this is going to make things interesting. We <laughs> The element of supply is no longer with us. is a steep descent. And let's curve into her. Uh, let's just hope she does her job. Uh, I don't think this thing's going to get us. Let's hope this thing does its job. Look at that steep descent. Let's go planes up. Uh, let's level planes and we'll let's just let the uh, um, ballast do the job from here.
Okay, so we had Sierra 8. Let's continue to identify ships while we can. Yep, got her. Another merchant ship. Okay, that makes sense. There's so many in this area. Sierra 6 is not a merchant, that's for sure. Let's just look for these two. Uh, no, we want something narrow. That's not quite right. Neither of these are quite right. We want a different... That's it. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay, next. Looks like a merchant. Or that, which I have to say I'm not thrilled about that. Now, where are these guys going? We have to, Okay, well, what we have to do is very quickly get some launching going. This torpedo missed us. We did a good job avoiding it. I just avoided it by talking <laughs> over and looking at contacts while it went. Uh, we have a Jiang Chu coming our way. Let's go ahead and put her out of her misery. We want this to be rise to the surface. Let's give it a little bit of time. Let's say something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and get the next one launching at this Chengdu. Um, 1,400 yards seems about right. Let's go at 10,000. Rise to the surface before I forget. And shoot tube two. We lost that wire immediately, so good luck to that one. Hopefully she gets the job done. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Still... Yeah, I think we're going to get up to the surface to, for the sovereign knee, whatever. Let's see if we can take down this uh, next one. Lines here, double lines there. We're looking for double lines, I think. Well, I'll be happy with any... Whoop. I'll be happy with anything that lines up. Okay, merchant. Good. We could use a few more of those, frankly. And this buoy, which means, yep, helicopter. And there's their torpedo. Here's mine. Five, I actually still have control of. Let's go to five. Is this five? Uh, it's not active yet. So it's going to go active soon. Oh, God. Do we miss it? Shit, 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 shit. I don't think so. Let's just have it go active four and climb to the surface. Oh, God. This way. Up, up you go. I'm guessing that it's still where we, like, guaranteed it was <laughs> a moment ago. Oh! Yeah. Uh, we, we need to do the, the thing, the thing, the thing! Is it? What the hell is noise maker? I don't know what the noise maker is. Uh, okay. Give me noise maker. Thank you. That's what I wanted. A oh, holy cow! Talk about close. <laughs> what is this? Good lord! I, I need to know. Shift V. Thank you. Okay. Follow it. Yeah, well, this has got other problems. Um, don't want to go. Boy, that was close. Good lord. 
And it's not over. Down we go. Good. I want to go down. Oh, shifty. Shift. Good. And down we go. We're really going down this time. Okay, I don't know in all this if we were able to get a, a hit on this Jiang or not. No idea. It's basically a missing entirely. <laughs> okay, I got a hit. We did it. We did. We got it. We got it. Okay, good. Whew. 1,100 feet I <laughs> It's mission critical here that we stay very low. All right, we're going to start slowing down. My god, I almost killed us just because I didn't know the shortcut, the, the key for Noisemaker. We, like, really got that out maybe the last second possible. Like, I'm pretty sure that even, even a second or two longer would have been just... Ah, that, that's... Whew, what, a, what a hell of a ride there. Okay, so let's rig ship for ultra quiet. What kind of direction are we? That's actually a good direction. Uh, another torpedo in the water, though, which is not good. I think we just use our depth to our advantage here. Obviously, we're not going to be launching missiles from this depth, but... Holy cow. Ah, that was intense. Now we're going to have to l raise uh, <laughs> fairly high up in the water. We're going to have to make our depth. I don't know what it is. Oh, another one, huh? Is this another one that just entered? Yeah, another one just entered off there. Okay, this is good. 1,300 feet. I'm feeling pretty comfortable now. Holy cow, let's do a little bit of reloading. Um, how do I want to handle this? So we have a Chengdu. It's getting away. Yeah, we got to just... Okay, you know what? Let's make our heading. Can I just order my heading? Will they allow me to do this? None of those things don't not depth, but yeah. I don't want speed, I want to set course H. Good. Yes. Make your the do exactly that thing. Come right to two zero seven. We have two other torpedoes in the water. So actually make your heading correct that. Let's do a total a total flip here. And as soon as a few of these torpedoes in the water become a little bit less threatening, I need to take a drink. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It looks like we actually have eyes on one of them. Unless those are the torpedoes. Are those the, just the torpedoes? No, that's definitely a ship. So we have like perfect location on one of the ships. Okay, so here four. I don't think so. Seven, four. We're back to four. Yep, we do not. Oh, that's one of the ones that's sinking. Okay, well, fair enough. So it looks like we got the Chengdu as well, which is good. I mean, I hope it, really, really hope it was a Chengdu. Not a merchant ship. We're slowly coming right to whatever, like 270. I forgot what I made the course. 247? No, that's... Like, uh, two, yeah, 270, basically. 269. 
Okay. So how are these torpedoes looking? Let's use the map, kind of piece things together here. I think we're okay to come up. All right, let's make our depth. Let's use this because it's kind of nice. Make our depth maybe 600. Yes, now it's time to deal with some of these. Pull up our map, let's see what we have here, Dejing. We're gonna want that, but not yet. Sovereign me, yes, you are first. Prepare tube one. Now we'll come up a bit first. It's nice we're actually letting the AI do their thing. I'm not controlling things, which is kind of nice. Okay, so 650 should be fine to launch. I. And I have no idea what, what what's uh, the deal with the sovereign mini. Let's pull her up. Our solution, 34%. We don't have a good idea of what she's doing. So let's just take it nice and easy here. And first of all, get our torpedoes to rise to the surface. I think that 200 feet is my limit of being able to launch these things. Uh, these things, I mean. Now launch with these is gonna probably Oh, I never identified CR5. But it's a merchant. Yep. Okay. So there's only two left that I need to sink, and there's a whole bunch that I don't want to sink. The Sovereign is closing, the Dejing, the Dajiong. I should say it correctly, now that I can look at the little... I have a moment to, of peace <laughs> to look at the letters. The Da Jiang, um is the target, but the Sovereign Me is the first target. Now, we could launch uh, missiles, but I think it's going to tell us... Can't launch below 200. That's perfect. So, what we're going to do is just launch torpedoes at the Sovereign Me. What is her estimated distance? I doubt very much. It's 20,000 yards. Bearing to 20 makes sense. We'll do that... Um, maybe at 5,000 yards and just let her slowly track on. So we'll do it right on, 217, 218. At 4.8, we'll call it, and launch tube 1. We'll, we're fine at whatever we're at, so. 650 feet, more than enough to get us out of the a quick torpedo launch, or a quick... Um, Uh, torpedo air launch. Well, I was thinking that they probably launched the torpedo by the air, but it gets basically launched as a missile, missile dropped into the water. I think 600 feet is enough for us to react to that. So, so we'll see. Now, eventually I want to climb up and I will want to use some of my harpoons. Not just because it's going to be faster and maybe the only way, but also because, heck, I'm using a lot of torpedoes. I hope that at some point they allow me time to go back and rearm. All right, let's keep this one on. Do I want to adjust this at all? Oh, got another one in the water. Okay. Dive, let's climb. First of all, noise maker. Climb. Oh god. Give me another noise maker. 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 We're dead. Okay. Thank you. Oh god, we're we're dead. Shit.
Alright, this is bad, but apparently we're not dead. This is really not good, obviously, but we're not dead. We do have a, a, a helicopter right over us somewhere. I saw the bubble. Test depth now, I mean, dive depth now is probably a lot less than what it was. Okay, let's get up to the surface and launch. We're obvious, it's obvious that they know where we are. So let's look at flooding. Go ahead and... Yeah, do that. So we're doing noisemaker stuff, that's good. See the situation here? Yeah, it looks like we got him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, trouble. Here comes trouble. Boy, that was close. Wait. Alright, this might get us killed, but we're gonna have to do it. Eighty-five percent, I think that's gonna be okay. Come on, launch another noisemaker! Oh, it's going to go overhead. Holy cow. Turn with it, turn with it, turn with it, turn with it. We can probably go down to a thousand still, if 85%. I don't know how we're not that much damage. The Sea Wolf is just insane. <laughs> Completely lost us. Oh shit. It got us again. Okay. We can only go 10 knots. Well, that's part of our problem. And climb, and climb. Oh, wow. We did it. Alright, bring us back down. No, actually, make our depth 200. We gotta get out of here. And that's gonna require us immediately killing anything that's left. What did we sink? A merchant. Mother effer. Well, get us immediately, I would say. Immediately. People are not gonna be happy about this one. Washington's not going to be happy that we ended up sinking a merchant ship. But you know what? We're doing the best we can here. Oh, God. I saw that. What was that dip? Okay, level off. Okay, prepare to launch.
Oh, come on. <laughs> Give me it. Two feet. Damn you. Parent launch. And... Launch. Okay, here we go. Let's also... Take out the Dijong. Alright, and now, get low. Here we go. I didn't do the, the right thing, I think. Uh, yeah, it was blown up. Get back up. Well, let's just do this manually, because we're in a hurry not to die. Um, I want to do this, not this. Now I'll stop doing that, but do this. Now, procedure. Drop down procedure. Okay. Good lord. Okay, prepare to launch again. Launch. Let's try this again. Launch a second. Oh, shit. Where's she going? Where the hell it Oh god damn it. She's not she's going for it. What the hell is she doing? Get another one. crazy out of stuff they're putting out to this well I mean to save their own ship obviously I don't know where my missile went oh is that a hit it's probably one hit but maybe not enough let's go ahead and launch another <laughs> I don't I don't need these things by the way. I don't need these harpoons. This ship's probably like, come on man. We still have this Dijon that we need to take care of as well. Now the question is, are its anti air systems crippled or not?
Oop, I think it's got it. Yeah. Hmm. Let's look at our weapon stores before I keep going crazy. Yeah, we only have three of these left, so you know what? Let's get uh, serious about this. Let's start loading tomahawks. But for now, let's use a torpedo, which we certainly can use, and just take her out the normal way. And for this, we can... Okay, then we also want... I mean, technically we also want a, a missile to go at this other ship before it gets away the Daijiong. Daijiong. We'll take that thing out, but let's deal with priorities first. First things first, right? This thing's slow, it won't be able to get away from our thing. I want this um, torpedo to go active pretty much right away, actually. Because it's going to be faster. We'll guide it in. If it has any... Uh, problems getting to the right target. Yeah, it's going. It's going the correct way. So we did, looks like, sink a merchant. You know what? It was it was in the line of fire. <laughs> Could not be helped. I don't think those are excuses which the uh, world or even my officers, my, I'm um, sorry, my superiors will listen to. But... It is the case. Certainly not... I mean, we didn't mean to, right? These are words that I don't think fly when it comes to civilian casualties, but at the same time, what were, what the heck were these merchant ships doing in the middle of a Chinese fleet? It's very strange. And this thing is going very, very, very slow. Speed of 16 knots. I think it is starting to realize it's doomed. And hopefully, just not too quickly. Give me enough time to... I mean, hopefully it doesn't realize it quickly enough to do anything like launch torpedoes at me. Okay, prepare, as soon as this thing's down, to launch at the Dijon. Pop-up fire control, it does not matter. Okay, then don't do that, it's just actual work. This is bearing 229. We'll wait. We have a nice view of the impending doom <laughs> of the ship. Might have it this time. Looks like we do. Waiting for that explosion. Right about now. Oh, disappeared. Uh oh. Um, okay. I mean, I saw that. That was just a buoy? Okay, slow down. It's just a buoy. Dropped right on me. Where's my torpedo? Oh, it really gave my torpedo a number. The, the geez. Oh, we still have the torpedo on the wire. I can control it. Well, you know what? It's time for me to step in and we will do it ourselves. Very good. Wait for it. 
I think that's the end. Got her. Look at that. <laughs> that's very cool, the percussions. Okay, quickly reload and let's launch this thing before this other guy gets away. This is a Tomahawk anti-ship missile, because I don't want to mess around with this one. So we'll see what happens. In fact, let's go to periscope depth. Oh, actually, there is a layer issue. Is it going to know where to go? Will it get the target? This is a mystery to me. Okay, let's raise periscope. I don't want to look at. Oh! Got her. Guess there's a helicopter right above us. <laughs> okay, lower scope. Make depth 200. Raise speed. Ah, okay, we'll we'll not cavitate intentionally, but it doesn't. I don't think it much matters. I think we sank everything in the area. Wow, that was quite an adventure, huh? Episode number three, and we were already hit. I didn't expect to be hit the entire, entire series. I actually already forget now how we were hit. Let's see. The noisemaker just didn't work, yeah. So, um, based on feedback I get... Oh. Oh. Oh, this is also not good. 76%. Okay, we're, we're still doing okay. <laughs> um, based on feedback I got from... Uh, the last series, people were saying that you have to launch the noisemakers early. In my own experience, I found that if you launch them too early, in fact, it's not good. That it gives the noise of the weapon time to reacquire. But there's a sweet spot, probably, and I just will do my best to find it. So now we have some nice scarring on the side. This is the Sea Wolf will be. Uh, she's done her job, man. It was this the fourth or fifth, sixth uh, sortie we've been in. So I think that we're doing okay. Uh, wish I could launch anti-air. That's what, the next thing I want is to be able to lock, uh, launch like stingers, <laughs> not stingers, maybe like uh, some kind of anti-air. <laughs> okay, can we get away? We can. We did it. We sank everything, including one thing we shouldn't have sunk. But let's see what happens. Okay, I believe that they should allow us to go home to repair. Oh, we get a medal. Commander Tortuga is, ex is cited for extraordinary heroism in action against enemies of the United States of America on 4th October 2000. His unwavering resolve and self-sacrificing devotion to duty in the face of death are worthy of the highest emulation. Here, here. Thank you. Let's see the result. Taking off several new strategic positions, reduced Chinese naval activity, 
Recent NATO gains at sea have decreased the numbers of warships needed to maintain control in several regions. Well, yeah, we've sank, like, what, three tas three uh, surface fleets by ourselves. Uh, what? A wolf pack of enemy <laughs> sub attack submarines is operating in the Tsushima between there, the same place we've been before. Um... You must therefore transit to the area and connect an ASW suit to the area before the enemy has a chance to escape. Avoid any. You gotta be kidding me. You don't let me go back first? You guys are crazy. Okay, we have three left. We'll probably load another Moss. <laughs> we might need them. Actually, let's load another um, tomahawk. Yeah. Okay, well, continue on the course. Pause. And we'll call this video to a close. It's funny that, that I ended up getting hit only in deep water, which I, I would never have guessed. So it's a good... We don't die, but we have a nice blow to... Well, I have a nice blow to my ego, which hopefully will make me a little bit more conservative in future engagements. Not too conservative as to make it not entertaining, though, right? Because uh, Captain Tortuga has always flown things very fast and loose. But until the next episode, thanks for watching, and take care.